So one of the things that I see trips so many multidimensional channels, intuitives, energy healers, um, spiritual messengers up is that they have so much divine guidance. So one of the things that I see trips so many multidimensional channels, intuitives, energy healers, um, spiritual messengers up is that they have so much divine guidance, ancient wisdom coming through and they are very much uh, vibrating at higher frequencies and receiving high guidance, but they are not uh, applying practical strategies to it in a way that um, honors the guidance and the wisdom that's coming through. So nothing is distorted, but also is more easily consumed by the masses. And so if you're on the edge of this paradigm shift, you're probably receiving a lot of guidance and wisdom. You already know who you are if you're watching this video. You're receiving a lot of higher guidance, a lot of higher wisdom, and you are oftentimes I see some of the more um, esoteric uh, practitioners having a hard time with building a business. And so there's a huge gap here that has to be bridged in order for you to be successful at building a business, right? Because you can have all of the ancient wisdom and the divine knowledge and the guidance and everything that's coming through, but if you don't know how to ground it in a practical way that is accessible to the masses and um, easily able to be consumed by the masses, then who's going to be hearing your message and who's going to receive it? And, you know, so if you think about it, um, take Esther Hicks, for example, because I'm sure you've heard of her, right? You take Esther Hicks. She's very esoteric, right? She's channeling, she's uh, channeling Abraham. That's all fine and dandy, but if she was doing that to like three people or two people or whoever happened to make her little webinar and five people saw it, right? That's still fine, right? She's helping people, but she's not having the global impact that she could have, right? As she's able to have when she applies a practical business strategy or practical business model that supports her mission work, that supports the guidance and the wisdom and com that's coming through, that doesn't distort anything, that stays true and authentic, that honors the divine wisdom and the divine guidance that's coming through, but builds practical business strategy and a strong foundation that allows you to continuously show up as the channel for the divine to work through you. So this is just a huge gap in the spiritual entrepreneurship arena that I see. There's a huge gap between so many energy healers, intuitives, empaths, um, spiritual messengers, coaches, channelers, however you uh, relate, right? However you perceive yourself, whatever you call yourself, however you perceive yourself as um, what your gift is or however, what the label doesn't matter, but the there's a huge gap between being able to bring through this wisdom and ground it into a 3D structure that is accessible to the masses that you are here to serve. And this is super important because I think you can agree that if Abraham Hicks was, you know, speaking one-on-one -on -one still, like when she first started out to an audience of one at a time, um, or maybe then even small groups at a time where it was like two or three people at a time, then I think you can easily see how the impact would be greatly diminished, even though I'm, I'm not discounting the, dis, the, the impact of helping one human soul on their transformation. That's obviously, um, obviously not being discounted at all, but I think you can get my point. The women that are attracted to me are here to make a massive impact. They know they're here to help the masses either uplift or heal or ascend in some way through their uh, using their unique spiritual gifts and wisdom and as a channel. 
And in order to do that, you have to be able to apply practical business strategies that allow you to reach the masses in a way that is easily consumable for them and not so esoteric that it doesn't make uh, sense to the person that is meant to consume your message to begin with. Does that make sense? So I just wanted to bring that to you today because I see it affecting so many insanely gifted channelers, messengers, um, what I refer to as new paradigm leaders, the energy healers, the intuitives, the empaths, the spiritual um, way showers. In order for you to make the impact that you know you're being called to make, and everybody's mission is different, so this is only if it resonates with you. In order for you to make the impact that you know you are here to make, you have to allow yourself to grow and scale, to be massively seen and visible and supported in a way where you get to show up and your impact is exponentially you know, increased. And then also as a byproduct of that, your income will as well. So you can stay supported in your mission work, abundantly supported in your mission work. And so I just wanted to share this with you today. I hope this message finds you well and I will pop in here with another episode for you very soon. Namaste.